In this section, we're going to talk about system scale. Specifically, we're asking the question, how does performance and capacity scale within the architecture? The first choice that vendors have made is to design a scale-up architecture. This is the traditional mode of scaling in a block environment. We have a pair of controllers that sits on top of shared disk shelves. Each controller pair has a total amount of I.O. that it can deliver and a total amount of disk shelves that can be deployed underneath it. When we look at the performance scaling characteristics, performance scaling is tied very much to the pair of controllers themselves. If customers want to increase the amount of performance that the storage array is capable of handling, the only option that they really have is to be able to replace the controllers with a larger or more performant pair of controllers. If they wanted to scale the capacity, they can do so by adding additional shelves into the architecture that sit underneath the same pair of controllers. Typically, a pair of controllers will have limits both on the amount of I.O. that it can support and the amount of disk shelves and the amount of individual disks that it can support. The second architectural choice is a scale-out design. In a scale-out design, individual nodes are collected to form a cluster, and each of these nodes provides both its own controller as well as management of the disk that sits inside the individual node. If customers want to increase the amount of performance or the amount of capacity in the overall cluster, they simply add more nodes, which adds both into the available pool. In the case of SolidFire, there are two additional features that the architecture brings. The first is being able to scale performance and capacity independently by being able to add or remove nodes and being able to utilize nodes of different sizes. If a customer needs to change the amount of performance to the amount of capacity ratio that they're deploying, they can do so simply by changing out the type of node that they're adding in. The second is being able to load balance all of the performance of all of the nodes and be able to load balance the capacity and performance of the individual volumes that are being hosted on the cluster across all of the nodes across the backend. In summary, system scale is deployed either using a scale up or a scale out design. The scale up design tends to be much easier to engineer. This is the traditional way that storage vendors have implemented block storage for the last two decades. It requires that all of the controllers be able to see all of the disk, and it means that customers are locked into a specific amount of performance for each array that's been deployed. Being able to scale capacity, that is adding more shelves or more disks to an existing controller pair is pretty straightforward. Being able to scale performance is a little bit more difficult and generally ends up orphaning the existing controllers that are being replaced. The other option is a scale-out architecture. In this environment, we add either performance or capacity to the environment simply by adding nodes, and in the case of SolidFire, being able to add nodes of different sizes to change the ratio of performance to capacity that's being delivered. Being able to load balance across all of the nodes ends up allowing for far more system scale, both on the performance and the capacity side than we would have otherwise. The other option, scale up, is much more difficult to implement. Being able to do distributed systems management and distributed storage management across multiple nodes is non-trivial to implement. However, what it does allow for is a significant amount of scale both on the performance and capacity that can be addressed by a single cluster.